Hey, little Jimmy, would you like to acolyte? Well, let me ask you this. Would you like to serve your church, God, and help lead worship? You do? Great! I have just the thing. It's called acolyting. The first step is to dress appropriately. Now, <laughs> you don't have to wear a suit and a tie, but you do need to look like you care. So, no t-shirts or shorts, especially short shorts. So thanks, Jimmy, for showing us what not to wear. Now, let's talk about tools. The first tool is the candle lighter. Next, light the candle lighter. How you light the candle lighter is by lighting the candle lighter. Now, let's talk about moves, little Jimmy. While spinning around may be fun, it may not be safe. Instead, hold the candle lighter out front in a sturdy position and begin to walk down the aisle. Remember, always bow before the altar and light the candles middle, right, left. And then you bow again and hang up the candle lighter. And finally, have a seat on the front row. After the sermon, you will help collect offering, little Jimmy. Give the offering plates to the two ushers and wait by the door. What do you do when you stand there? Well, just stand there. And if you want, you can stare at that piece of art. What is it? Collect the plates and then place them on the altar. For communion, sometimes, little Jimmy, you will have two half-full trays. Whatever shall we do? How about consolidate them? Very good, little Jimmy. Now, during the closing song, extinguish the candles by going left, right, middle. But before you put out the middle, flip the candle lighter over and relight it. Good job, little Jimmy. You are now a trained professional.